Welcome back, it's Driver with the two Johnnies on 2FM. Now, we use maths every day. It's a handy skill to have, but sometimes people have a mental block around learning the subject. That's a fact. Yeah, two of us in two. That's a fact, man. Today, we're joined by two lads who will hopefully help us with our maths. Uh, TJ Hegarty and Luke Quigley, welcome to the show, lads. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much. It's, well, first of all, you're from Cork. <laughs> from Cork, yeah. Cork City, That's indeed. Right. Cork City! <laughs> uh, lads, okay, maths. It's back. It's sexy. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, breakthrough Maths. Mm-hmm. What is it? TJ. So, Breakthrough Maths is an online grind school. And we teach kids in small classes, all online, from primary school right through to leaving start. Okay. And is, do people still call it grinds. There's no new, like, jazzy word for it. Lessons. We, yeah. uh, we Lessons. <laughs> <laughs> they still call it grinds. Uh, but, yeah, we're trying to take something that's fairly antiquated. Yeah. People have perceptions of maths being, like, old, boring, hard to do. And we're putting a spin on it. We make it good fun, small classes, engaging. And the kids generally just love the classes. Yeah, because, like, uh, uh, I was just saying to you a second ago, it's, it's one of those subjects that I think more people struggle with maths than they do any other subject in school, like. Mm-hmm. So if you can make it engaging, yeah. interesting, and easier for them, I guess you you're, you're probably win them over straight away. And they need it at all levels. Like I, we get texts, I get texts and emails in from everybody, from people looking for help with doing their in their apprentices and mechanics. And yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. mad. Beyond my, how many times math is needed, uh, and people's careers afterwards. But it's true what Johnny is saying. Like I feel when I was in school, there was a lot of people doing honors English, honors history, you know, honors geography, art, and then it came to maths, past maths. Yeah, fast maths. Yeah, and is that still the case? Like, or no, far from it. I think, especially as more degrees go more mathematical. Like, to even live in Dublin, you need to do computer science at this stage. So, like, yeah. for the rent, right? <laughs> yes. So, maths is a key part of that, and it's more and more demand for maths in Ireland and actually globally as well. Okay, uh, yeah, lots of new industries, all the tech, and the program, and stuff. And Luke, you are the entertainer. Of this combo, the TikTok I think, man, the yeah, TikTok the performance <laughs> man. I like to call myself. Yeah, I'm TikTok famous, actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you. Great. So we were looking at some of your TikToks earlier. They're really, really funny. How did this come about? Uh, well, it's basically it was kind of TJ's idea to just get out onto TikTok. He basically gave the phone to me and said, "Go off and do some <laughs> things that you think people might like." And I, I did one TikTok actually. I kind of it got a lot of views. It was basically like it was a it was a maths trick about guessing a number in somebody's head, and the comments were all like, "Oh my god, he's a magician!" Like, "Oh, he's getting the number in my head." It was it was just a maths trick, but it kind of worked. Um, and then from that, I was kind of thinking, oh, okay, like if I get people commenting and engaging, you know, kind of yeah. TikTok likes that. So I, I came up with then the, the 10 quick maths questions is the big thing I went viral for on TikTok. So did a few of those. And Class, I, I mean, you say viral, we're talking about what, millions of views? 10 million views, I think, wow. total. Not that I'm counting. But quick maths! It's quite viral. <laughs> quick maths on the video, 10 million views. Um, okay, well, do you have some... Um things you'd like to test us with i do indeed so i've, I've two lots of questions i've kind of set you uh, oh, both brilliant. up so some for smack some for johnny b okay yeah. so we can kind of put you head to head see who's better oh, Who, uh, does anyone want to start <laughs> it's a monday no one wants to start come on <laughs> get the accountant on the phone go on i'll start <laughs> all right so here we go nine plus ten 19 how many faces does a dodecahedron have 10 dodec 20 30 100 <laughs> add them together 40. Is 12. Go- what time is-, is it when the minute and hour hand are both at 12? What time is it? 12, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Yeah. 100 minus 22. Uh, it, 78. What is the top number in a fraction called? Oh, not denominator. Numerator, the other one. Ah. Yeah, yeah. How many degrees are in a straight angle? Zero. 180. Oh, you oh, know, like I mean, God, yeah, I get, you know, 1990. Two cubed. No, thanks. Eight. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What are the first three digits of pi? 3.14. Lovely. What type of number is 3 plus 4i? Ah. A weird one. Yeah, yeah. A a pass. It's a complex one. So you could have said another name for weird, really. It is Uh, quite complex. If your friend had four apples and you took away three of them, how many apples do you have now? One. Three. You took away three of them. It's oh, me. man, we've been literally robbing uh, for a living off. <laughs> 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 huh? Ask him questions about euros, he'd be all right. Uh, <laughs> huh? I only do money, lads. I only money, Luke. <laughs> you want to see how quick I can count notes? <laughs> yeah. huh? If Johnny goes on a night out with 100 euro and he comes home with 100 euro, what did he have? A cheap night. <laughs> <laughs> he had the boys with him. Let's, uh, let's see how good you are now. All right. 
right? Okay, yeah. So it wasn't counting actually. Uh, yeah. What was that? Four before an ten something? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. three ish. An okay, an okay <laughs> yeah. performance. Pass right. maths. You get a job in the civil service. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, okay, Luke, you're going to blow my socks off. Get ready. Yeah, All here right. we go. See if they're even enough. They could have been way harder this time. I have no idea how I did oh, these yeah. questions. But uh, <laughs> What number is called a baker's dozen? 13. 6 plus 8? Uh, 14. How many zeros are in a Google? A Google? Yeah, Google. None? 100. All right. Yeah, a big, big Google's big a number. number. Yeah, Google's a number. That's where the company gets its name from, actually. Yeah, big, big number. Mind blown. Uh, what is the chance of getting a six when rolling a dice? Well, what is the chance? What is the chance? One in six? One in six, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 76 minus nine? Uh, 60... What? 76... <laughs> 67 Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they keep thinking they're trick questions. <laughs> what, what number is XIV? Uh, bit of Roman numerals. Uh, X is ten, and then IV is four, right? Add them together. One hundred four. Oh, the other way around. Add them. Just add them. <laughs> what? Fourteen. Ten. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> nine squared. Eighty-eight. No. What? Eighty-nine. Well, you know, we have to take your first answer because yeah, yeah, no, I think you're doing no, way better yeah, this time. Yeah. So I have to, you know, dock you down. So show off. Eighty-one. Nine by nine. Eighty-one. Okay. Uh, what type of triangle has all sides equal in length? A boring one. Now, what do they call it? Uh, an isosceles? No? Ah, there's one of them. That's, That's a type one, of triangle. It? It's not the equilateral. Not the right an equilateral. equilateral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. We'll have to give one point over here. <laughs> well, I text in here, someone said, my brain has just stepped out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, lads. <laughs> oh, man. So does, this is the, the crack that you have on your Instagram. What is the art on, and on the TikTok? Yeah, yeah. Break, so this breakthrough actually, maths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, you know, I did a bit of... 10 mental maths questions or 10 kind of those wordy questions. I have all sorts of different rounds. How good are you at maths? Lucas I'm okay. Super. Okay. Lucas yeah, you, you're an All Ireland champion in maths. Oh, I, I see you've been told. Uh, two time All Ireland, actually. Thank wow. you very much. And there, were, there was one third place, but we don't talk about the third place. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the crack with the All Ireland of maths? Uh, that was so, you know, it was when I was in school, actually. My teacher kind of, you know, she, she saw that I, I like maths enough, so she kind of trained me up for these competitions and I went in them. And yeah, there was kind of, you know, you can do these maths competitions. Do you win a cup? Yeah, 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 you get, you get trophies and What's stuff. What's it called, the maths cup? You get the oh, IMTA, there was some shield and like... Class, you get homecoming and all. That's oh. unbelievable. <laughs> that was cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a little celebration for me. How how do you get good at maths? Is it just practice? Mm. Practice, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Practice. It's practice. Like there's a set structure to, to learning maths questions. It's its own language. And once you understand like uh, basic structures and formulas, like all kids can improve. Even if you think you have no knowledge and I can't do maths at all, mm. I've seen kids improve from 0% mm. to right up to get up to 100%. Yeah, what do you say if there's someone listening to this now and they're like, I'm in school, I'm struggling at maths or someone's like my kid is in school or struggling at maths what do you say calm down firstly it gets me <laughs> panic an awful lot yeah. take it easy get a bit of extra help like an hour extra a week it calms the whole thing down and get a bit of help outside of school as well mm. because it just takes away sometimes school itself and maths is intimidating mm. and take away that fear of it by getting a bit of extra help where can people check you out lads breakthroughmaths.com all the bookings on the website and everyone gets a free go at Breakthrough Masters to see what it's like in the first class very good one last question before you let you go is algebra pointless? It is not pointless. No, algebra is amazing. A controversial opinion. It's right. fantastic. Well, so I'm gonna... Can we all just get calculators? Like, you can't. You can't, no. You can't no. put algebra into a calculator. No, you can't. There you go. No, you can't. There you go. Wait, you can do other kinds of maths. I, I, I'm going to. I'm going to. I, I want to talk more algebra. I don't want to bore people with it at home. I have many theories on algebra. Thanks a million to Luke and TJ from Breakthrough Maths. Lads, fair play. Brilliant stuff you're doing. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Dude, go check out their TikToks. They're great crack.